ADHD, Attention Deficiency Hyperactivity Disorder. It's a long phrase, isn't it? <laughs> can hypnosis help you with it? Yes, it certainly can. The diagnosis of ADHD is sometimes very iffy. It's sometimes very suspect. I've seen many, many, many people in my clinic who've been diagnosed, and children, of course, many children, have been diagnosed with attention to ADHD, and in fact, they don't have that. I'm particularly thinking about a, a child I saw around seven who was acting out at school, and immediately clinicians said, ADHD, we must medicate this child. And in fact, the child didn't have that condition. And they had disturbances at home with their parents, so they were acting out. And giving medication to that child was wholly inappropriate. And when I worked with that young person to help them to train their mind with hypnosis, they were able to have good behaviour and good social behaviour with the other children. Adults, too, can benefit dramatically from using hypnosis to overcome and control ADHD. We can see that very clearly from experiments with biofeedback and also work with hypnosis in able to realign the two sides of the brain so that someone can focus they can be organized and they can have a greater sense of calm. With ADHD there also may be psychological disturbances that need addressing psychotherapeutically and hypnotherapeutically and that can all be addressed and certainly nutrition as a naturopath you know I'm going to talk about nutrition <laughs> because what you eat is what you become and for many people with ADHD, nutrition is very important. So hypnosis really can help you if you suffer from ADHD or you've been diagnosed with ADHD and not sure whether you have that. Or whether you've been on medications that have made it worse or have been inappropriate. And perhaps you might like to consider coming off those medications to work your brain in a different way so that you see your brain as a resource, not an enemy, because the brain is your resource. And often people who are very active are mistaken for having ADHD. Perhaps they're just creative. Perhaps they're busy. Perhaps they need to be occupied a lot more than the average person. And let's face it, the world wouldn't run without people who need to be occupied a great deal of the time. We wouldn't have presidents or prime ministers. We wouldn't have scientists that make breakthrough. So, hypnosis really can help in many cases to overcome and control ADHD. So give it a try. Take care for now. See you later.